Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Here we've got two teams who will look to their running backs if they want to control the pace of the game. It's Moreno's Dolphins going up against Gerhardt's Jaguars. Now let's get you out to Sun Life Stadium where Jim Nance and Phil Sims have the call. Jaguars, Dolphins, the stadium known by many names. Sun Life Stadium, the site for today's game. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Phil Sims. And I guess the big question, Phil, before a kickoff is what do you expect here today? You know, Jim, I expect these coaches to be aggressive. You can't go out here and just hope the other team makes mistakes. You've got to go out there and take it. So do it with your play calling. You know, try some trick plays. Do whatever you have to do to give your team the edge. On the field, there's Marcus Thigpen, the five foot nine former Hoosier, back deep for the opening kick. And Josh Scobie looks set now to kick it away. yard line he is a Texas A&M Aggie and boy did he put up points his last two years when he took over at quarterback down at A&M down at College Station Texas Ryan Tannehill now ready to make his debut I think when you talk about Ryan Tannehill there's not one thing that jumps out at you that is great but he does a lot of things really good throws the football with accuracy has decent arm strength and also can move around pretty well Looking across the middle, it's Clay. Blackman's there that time for the tackle. Danny Hill's job is to sell that play fake, and boy, did he do it that time. It pulled the defense, and they get the completion. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Throw it over the middle. Reaches out and grabs it. They bring him to the turf. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. This play set up by the long gainer. Looking to go up top again on first down. Here's a look at the offense. The sure-handed Brian Hartline starts at wide receiver. Jim, you and I talk about this guy every single year. Does not get the credit he deserves. Just a solid wide receiver who's extremely productive and stays on the field. He is a good player. They get to him just in time. One yard shy of the first down. It's often the difference maker in any game. And that is how you perform inside the red zone. And we're getting an early taste of that. No doubt about it, Jim. you got to be creative when you get in the red zone. We'll see what the offense calls. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. Moreno's hand at the football and pick up about four. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? The Jaguars come out in the nickel. First and goal. Tannehill's got it on the play action. Makes the grab. Touchdown. Well, the offensive line did it all on this drive, didn't they? Here it is on first and goal. Nice job of pass blocking. And the quarterback finds the open receiver for the touchdown. The Dolphins with the PAT to come. He made it. Tannehill's going to look on now from the sidelines. That last drive, he contributed more than 50 yards in the air. The Jags are ready to return the kick. Robinson's going to test the coverage this time. 
tackle just past the 20 will mark it at the 22 yard line. He was the 57th pick in the 2008 draft by way of the University of Michigan quarterback Chad Henney. Chad Henney out of the University of Michigan. He's still one of those big strong tough quarterbacks has an outstanding arm. He can stand in there under pressure and make the throws. First down offense readying for the snap. receivers stacked up on this play. They'll run it off the toss. They have this one covered up, and it's going to set them back for a loss. Taking a look at the offensive starters out of Mount Union, a fourth-round pick in 2011, Cecil Shorts. There are players at every school, regardless of what level they're playing at in college. How about that? Mount Union, Cecil Shorts, fast, tough, he can be a force in the NFL. Second down and 10. Takes it from the strong eye. Slashes to the left side. For this defense, a very good corner in Brent Grimes. Brent Grimes, he might be small, but he is feisty. He is tough. He is quick. And he can cover guys on the outside. You cannot get enough players on your football team like Brent Grimes. Incomplete looking underneath that time. And what you do in man-to-man -man defense sometimes, get up there and disrupt the receiver. Disrupt his rhythm, disrupt the timing, and what do you get? Another incompletion. We'll see what he can do here. They'll mark him at the 29. First down coming up. Nickel formation here for the defense. Keeps it here. Gets it out to Brian Hartline. That's a tackle at the 48. Tannehill is able to show off the footwork. Wow, what a good job. Look at those feet. Like a dancer. Gets himself in very good position to throw the football. First down here after the completion. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. Staying with the passing game on first down. Catch made. Park lines tackled down after a gain of five. As we feature now, the defensive starters, Paul Poslesny, has been getting it done at inside linebacker for many a season since coming out of Penn State in 2007. Yeah, you know what you're going to get from him, Jim. That's for sure. You know he's going to know what to do. He's tough and he gives great effort. Those are great traits to have as a middle linebacker. The Dolphins take it from the 43. Tannehill connects with Hartline, and he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good, it's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Moreno lined up in the backfield. Tannehill, play action. Tannehill connects with Clay. Tannehill selling this play big time. The defense, they go for the run fake, and that's why he has time to throw the football and makes the completion. Good job. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. And as the first quarter comes to a close, we'll take a short break before the beginning of the second here in Miami Gardens, Florida. The Dolphins with a huge gainer right before the break and now coming back to the line to start the second.
First down here. After the long game, let's see what they do here. And Grads nearly had the interception. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. And here we have second down. Tannehill from the gun. Complete to Wallace. Wallace tackled down. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. Nickel formation for the defense here. Tannehill's back in shotgun formation. Sticks to his hands. Well, defense is lucky when they get you inside the five-yard line because it's hard to deceive them. So they can just go after the offense and be aggressive. The defense loading up on the line. Power serve for six. Touchdown. Uh, just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal, or you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. The Dolphins now will tack on the extra point. The point after is good. Tannehill is going to watch his defense come out here in a moment. He was good for over 70 passing yards on that last touchdown drive. Robinson's going to test the coverage here. Ball is out. Bumble's picked up, and now he's taking it back the other way. No doubt about it. Touchdown. That's the way they're taught, to be greedy. Don't be satisfied with just getting the turnover. Take it all the way back to the house for the score. The Dolphins with an extra point try on the way. The point after try is in the books. The Jaguars are back deep, ready to return the kickoff. Robinson's running this one out. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Another series coming up for Henney and company. First down at the 21. They'll go ground. And at the 25, he'll be brought down. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Chad Henney from the shotgun. Almost intercepted. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. Now looking at third down. On this passing down, the defense comes Set. out Black in the nickel. 35. Black 35. Setting up screen. On the money. The tackle is made, and that's a three and out series for the offense. That was just a dumb call. You throw it behind the line of scrimmage like that. You deserve to lose some yards. That's what happened on that play. And so now they'll call on Anger to punt the football. Wants to give it a go here. Blackman in on the tackle.
It's first down as they head to the line. Looking to the right side and throwing. Had it for just a second, but then it came out on contact. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. The Dolphins have it at the 34. Moreno's got it on the handoff. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Third down. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. And after only three plays, that incompletion brings us to fourth down. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. They'll take it at the 20. First down here. Set, black 35, black 35. Hand off made. And this will end up as a two yard loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense. And now they have a good situation. After running it, it's second down. Lee's a receiver in the slot. Set, right 20. Right 20. Chad Henney from the gun. Throws to the right. Complete to Lewis. Two minute warning. A reception on second down, but not enough for the first. Third down. They've come out of the dime package. Ball is out, and it's a takeaway. Good piece of tackling. you got to protect the football on the offensive side. When you don't protect it the way these defensive players can run, you're going to get in trouble, and that time it results in a fumble. They're happy to begin this drive from this point. The Jaguars' defense now is going to go nickel. Tannehill's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Tannehill to Wallace. The Dolphins are leading in this one, and a lot of that goes back to the play of this quarterback, Phil. Tannehill's been on the mark to this point. He has. He's one of the better throwers in the NFL. When you give him time, like he's had here so far today, he is going to put it right on target. Offense lines up here. Second and short. The blowout continues. Another touchdown. Tight ends are so valuable down on the goal line. They're able to maneuver inside. Easy to get defenders to run into each other uh, to get open to score. The Dolphins lined up now for the point after. Count it. The Dolphins kickoff team is on the field and the offense is on the sideline celebrating a score that was all set up thanks to a very tenacious defense that recovered the fumble. Todd will run this one out. Him at the 18 yard line. They face first down. The Jaguars come to the line with a bunch set. Brings it into his body. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Getting set as fast as they can. And now 
he'll slide the Jaguars. Call the timeout. Their first. First down on the way. Lee's lined up now as a slot receiver. Three step drop. Throws the pass. Find shorts. He'll pick up seven this time. The Jaguars elect to take a timeout here before the second down snap. And now they'll try over again on second down. Split backfield here. Chad Henney from the shotgun. The defense gets the sack. It's third down coming up. No time to huddle now. Chad Henney from the gun. Complete to Lewis. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. You know, as a quarterback, sometimes you got to trust that arm and throw the football past the first down marker. There were guys open, but no, he, he takes the safe route, throws it short, defense makes the tackle, and here we are staring at a fourth down. So that's going to do it for the first half here. Dolphins are up in this one. We welcome you in now for the EA Sports Halftime Report presented by Verizon. Now let's take a look back at the first half. The Dolphins are simply running the show in the first half. They've controlled the game and are way out in front. The Jaguars have an uphill battle in front of them will try to claw back in this one. All right, let's get straight to it. Here's some highlights from the first half. Sturgis has it teed up now for the start of the second half. Odman will run this one out. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Another series coming up for Hinney and company. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. First down at the 22. Left side, and Delmas there to make the tackle. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go, and they stopped him for a short game. Second down. From the gun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. They face third down after the incomplete pass. the quick three and out. Well, I don't know who to blame here or give credit to. Blame the quarterback for not changing the protection or just give a lot of credit or well, that's where I'm going. What a job by the defense. They catch the offense off guard and they get to the QB with the blitz and take him down. He's got a chance for a return. Reynolds there to take him down. They come to the line, and it's first down. Keeps it here. Tannehill to Hart. Coaches, don't get greedy. Be decisive over there on the sideline. Do what's best for your football team. Keep getting those first downs and letting that clock just keep running. You got a big lead here in the second half. Don't take any chances. First down at the 26. Wide open for the catch. Nice tackle. Well, once again, the offense is in the red zone. They've got a big lead. I think it's up to this defense. Finally show a little toughness to try to stop them for once. First down here after the completion. Oh, 
Let's see how they back up the big play here. And they score again here to pad the lead. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. Dolphins for the extra point. Makes the PAT. The Jaguars have really just been outplayed in every facet of this game. Really just looking for any sort of answer. The score's 35 to 0. Steps up and fields it at the two. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Jaguars bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. Offense lines up here. The Jaguars from the 22 to the ground. In on the stop. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Second down following the run. Offense lines up here. Here's the handoff and they'll run it. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Well, let it make you feel a little better. Finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Let's Offense go. lines up here. They hand it off to him again, and he's tackled at the 34-yard line. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. The defense comes out in the nickel. Here we go, here we go. Hey, hey. Chad Henney from the shotgun. Find shorts, and they are in on shorts. The Jaguars do a good job that time on second down. They don't force the football down the field. They throw it short, they pick up some solid yards to make it a good situation for them, third and short. They connect on that pass play, but it's still third down. Offense lines up here. Hand off. He's going to the left. He's brought to a halt. All you can do is your job, and that was a good job by the offense. Picking up the first down, you're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. Ready, left 35. Ready. First and 10, back to the ground. Running to his right, picks up maybe three. If you want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Offense lines up here. They'll go ground. Odd bricks all over the ball carrier. Half 
after that run. Third and eight for the offense. The third quarter comes to a close, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Jaguars are still in possession as we get this final quarter underway. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. Here we go. Here we go. 18. The final quarter begins with this snap. Lewis has got it. First down. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Lee's in the slot. Let's go now. Let's go. Chad Hitty from the gun. They're going to get him here for a sack. Well, that was an aggressive play by the defense. That's risk-reward. The, the reward, of course, is sacking the quarterback like they did. Go, well, the man. risk is if you don't get there, you could give up a big play. Looking to the right side and throwing. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. It'll be third down. Marching down the field and taking their time. Here we go, here we go. Check, check, check. And he's taken down. That's a bad job by the offense that time. There's no doubt about it. The blitz by the defense, they do not do a good job of finding out where everybody's blitzing from. They let a guy come free. And that free blitzer, or as we call them, free runners, he gets the hit on the QB and takes him down. What a difficult spot to be in from here. Nickel formation here for the defense. First and ten. Moreno's going to take the handoff now. That's an awesome job by the offense picking up this first down here in the second half. They've got a big lead. It's not about scoring anymore. It's just about milking that clock. And that is an art, and this team is good at it. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. First down at the 18. Moreno's going to secure the handoff. The Dolphins have tried to stretch the field vertically, and they certainly have. Tannehill's been showing off that cannon he has for an arm. Yeah, he's got it all, doesn't he? When you watch him throw the football down the field, you can see the arm strength. But the biggest thing is you can see that wonderful touch on the football. He is laying that football in there right on the money. Moreno's lined up as the single back. Second down and eight. They feed it to him one more time. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Third and three. Here's the quick toss. Another third down conversion. The offense continues to come through in the clutch. The Dolphins offensive line does a good job on this run. They show their power. The runner able to go up in there and get a first down. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. The Dolphins will take the snap from the 30. Lamar Miller with the carry. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. 
Millen's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. They're able to move the chains after that last run. They bring in the extra tight end. Toss to the outside. Breaks free. That'll stop the play right there. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Second down, four to go. Right back to him once more. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. This is third down. Right back to him. Tackle's made, and that'll move the chains. Very few teams in the league can do this and run the football for first downs. Anytime it's in a situation, third and two, third and three, they don't even think about run because they're not tough enough to get it done. They have to throw it. Nice job by this offense. Split backfield here. First down at the 48. Moreno's taking the handoff. Picks up about five. Second down here after that run play. Another carry here. They deck him in the backfield. Well, that time the offensive line just got overpowered. They allowed penetration. When you do that, nowhere for the running back to go. What a good job by the defensive line. The long drive continues. Third down and seven. Feeds him again. Kozlozny's going to make the tackle. All right, Phil, before we go, tell me about the atmosphere down in that winning locker room right now. Oh, it's always a wonderful feeling once you win the football game. Just think about it, Jim. It's, it's, it would be like you playing a round of golf, and you know it's just you against one other guy, and you practice all week long. The anticipation builds. You're so excited for the match, and once you get it done, man, it, 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 it's a wonderful time. memorable game this truly was for Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now and we leave you with the GMC never say never moment of the game.